Hey guys, Franchise Fanatic here, and I know I said I wasn't going to do another video until October 1st, but boy did we get a bombshell dropped on us yesterday. Deadpool 2, of course as you guys know, came out this summer, and it was pretty successful, I loved it, I will be reviewing both movies soon, and uh, in fact today I'm going to be watching the super duper effing cut, which looks hopefully good. I'll have to review both for you guys. But anyway, as you know, Deadpool 2 came out this summer, and it's R-rated. You have to be 17 and up to see it. Did pretty good, right? But we just got the news yesterday that Fox is going to be re-releasing Deadpool 2 December 21st, 2018, so this year, which is crazy, into a PG-13 rating. Now let that sink into your mind for a minute. PG-13, Deadpool 2, December 21st, 2018. How crazy is that? Now, if you look online, you'll see plenty of other videos doing it, and you'll see plenty of people hating on it, plenty of people liking it. I happen to be totally with this. I think it's a great idea. I've been a person who's been with Deadpool since, well, not the beginning, but for a pretty long while before the first Deadpool movie with Ryan Reynolds in 2016 happened. So I know the character more than a few people who have just seen the films. So... From what I can gather, a lot of people who are hating this PG-13 version of Deadpool 2 are people who are saying, oh, that's not Deadpool, or, you know, that's not my Deadpool, it's like this weird president thing going on. That's completely false and just stupid, in my opinion, because Deadpool, to me, is the comic version of Deadpool. Now, I love Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool in both of his films, right? I didn't mind him in Wolverine at Origins, but, you know, whatever. Um, but I think that it was... A very smart move to do this because again like I was saying to me Deadpool is a character that was based originally in the comics so yeah he could teleport and he could do all these cool things that he couldn't do in the first two Deadpool movies with the, the good Deadpool movies basically and you know everyone who's complaining is saying oh he needs f-words and Deadpool needs a sex scene and you need tons of gore and sex and you know all these things but really to me that's not Deadpool to me Deadpool is a character yeah, he'll say a few F-words. Like, in the, every comic I've ever owned of Deadpool, and I own a lot of them, he says, like, two F-words per comic, right? And they're bleep. They have, like, those asterisks and all those things. So, and as you guys know, a PG-13 movie is allowed to have a maximum of two F-words. So that would be perfect. You know, we don't need... Like, to me, Deadpool doesn't need to have 85 F-words in an hour and 40 minutes to be funny. And you don't need a sex scene. And you, need, you don't need tons of gore. Even though there is gore in the comics... You know, you can easily just minimize that a little bit. And I think that this could work. I think that this always should have been PG-13. Because, again, we don't need the level of language and sex and violence that we've been getting. It's fine, and I like it, and I'll deal with it. I mean, the movies are great. But to me, that isn't the true Deadpool. Deadpool, to me, is funny without using swear words and without all that, all that stuff in it. Um, and then, of course, you know, there are people out there who... Um, like, I've read tons of articles... And they're all saying, oh, PG-13 Deadpool 2, right? It's the perfect family Christmas movie. And that's just stupid as all get out. I have to say that. Because a PG-13 movie is for teenagers and up, right? So a PG-13 movie, you have to be 13, not for families. Not a kid's movie. A kid is, like, 10. And to be honest with you, I'm going to do another video talking about the rating system and why I think it's all jacked up. But to me, you know, a lot of people don't seem to know this, but... PG-13 does not mean family film. It means a teenage film. So I know people say teenagers are kids, but to me, a teenager is a teenager, not a kid. So it's slightly above. Like, I wouldn't let, you know, a, a little kid see any PG-13 movie like Avengers or Star Wars or uh, Pirates or anything like that. So to me, that whole side of Deadpool 2 being a, a PG-13 family Christmas movie is just, just insane to me. It's unheard of to me. But that's just my opinion. I think PG-13 movies should stay without using the word family, because it really isn't. PG and G is family and up. PG-13 and R is not. But that's just me. But, yeah, I mean, quickly, aside from that little talk, let's, let's just talk about why I think Deadpool 2 PG-13 could work. And there's really three ways. The first is Disney could be buying Fox fairly soon. I mean, that's probably why they're doing this. Disney has not said this yet. And, of course, Fox hasn't either. But, you know, every single movie in the MCU or Marvel Cinematic Universe has been PG-13. So, teenager and up, right? Not just for kids, it's for everyone once you hit 13. And that would be perfect, because Deadpool comedy, the level of comedy in the movies, really 
is for teenagers. I mean, adults laugh at it, but it's more teenage-level comedy. So I think making Deadpool 2 PG-13 could ultimately really work and effectively boost the MCU in terms of its characters and franchises if Disney does buy Fox. Um, let's say this works, right? I mean, let's say Deadpool 2 PG-13 this December just kills it, right? It's really good. Everyone's loving it. It's dope. Everything's great. Disney can then go, oh, cool, they like it. Let's, uh, you know, let's keep going here. Let's keep making more Deadpool movies PG-13 because we know they like it. And, of course, people would just have to uh, um, adjust, which is fine. So I think that's cool. The second reason is, of course, that, you know, it's, I don't know, it's, it would work as a PG-13 film, not only for Disney, but I think for Fox, too, because they're, they're able to show a wider audience and then get more money. So everyone who's complaining, oh, Deadpool 2 should be R, it's an R-rated character. They don't know the character, because Deadpool doesn't have to be R-rated to be funny and good, right? True fans of Deadpool know this. So, effectively having a PG-13 movie of this would just get them more money and become even more successful. Yeah, it wouldn't have as many F-words and as, as much gore and sex scenes, but, you know, we don't need that. Deadpool's funny without all that, so I think that would really help. And of course, the third reason is, this is probably the most outlandish reason, but maybe Ryan Reynolds is helping make Deadpool 2 PG-13 to just be a gigantic, you know, middle finger, slap in the face, Easter egg toward Deadpool. Because if you guys remember when Deadpool 1 was being announced in 2016, on April Fool's Day, Ryan Reynolds came up dressed as Deadpool, Wade Wilson, and said, yeah, Deadpool's rated PG-13, and the whole internet lost their flipping minds. I thought it was be cool. I mean, again, you know my rant, I just did it. PG-13 Deadpool will work, and it could work. But, of course, as we all know, Deadpool 1 and 2 is R, so 17 and up, and I think that's great. But it's funny because he made fun of that. You know, he knows everyone hates it, except for me and probably a few other people watching. So, maybe Deadpool 2 PG-13 is just another reason for him to poke fun at the idea of a PG-13 Deadpool. I doubt it, but, I mean, you gotta admit that'd be a pretty funny marketing ploy, right? I mean, having him make fun of himself in a PG-13 movie... I think that'd just be comedy gold. But, again, guys, I think this is a great idea. Um, tons of people are hating it. I'm not sure why. Um, I mean, we've already got the R-rated versions. I think a PG-13 version couldn't hurt. It'd get them more money, and, again, it'd be a cool, better take on the character than F, 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 F. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think it'll work. And uh, same with Venom. You know, everyone hates that Venom's rated PG-13. I say give it a chance. Venom doesn't need to be R-rated to be good. I mean, yeah, he's pretty violent and graphic in the comics, but... You can work around that, because again, guys, PG-13 is not for kids, it's for teenagers, so you can still have a lot of violence. I mean, think of The Dark Knight and Avengers. Those have tons of violence. It's basically the same thing as an R-rated movie, except an R-rated film has more blood. So, again, we'll have to see what happens. I'm pumped for Deadpool 2 to come back in theaters December 21st as a PG-13 film. I think it's a great idea, and hopefully it works. If it doesn't, who knows, I might hate it. You know, I'm not going to say anything yet, I'm going to see it first. But yeah, guys, so thank you very much for watching. Um, oh, before I go, I have one little thing I forgot to say, guys, sorry. Um, X-Men Dark Phoenix, right? The last video I did, Dark Phoenix comes out February 14th. Well, it turns out it doesn't, because the day after the trailer came out, which came out on a Tuesday, that day after Wednesday, Fox said, oh, it's getting moved to June. So that's just great, right? But, you know, whatever. Dark Phoenix is coming out in June. If it doesn't get changed again... And uh, that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys watch it. Hope you guys like it. Leave a comment if you want to see PG-13 Deadpool, if you want it to stay R, if you're willing to see it adapt like me and see a better version. But, yeah, guys, so thank you, and I uh, hope you enjoy my opinion on this. And, yeah, just leave a comment and leave a like and subscribe for more future videos. And, again, I promise the next video will be on October 1st. So thank you, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.